Ya no duele como antes, no. Ya means anymore in this line. Ya can also mean already or by now. For example, Selena ya lo ha superado. Here, Selena is referring to her heartbreak not hurting like it did before anymore. La herida de tu amor sano. Herida as a noun means wound, like in this line. However, herida as an adjective means hurt or injured. For example, me siento muy herida. Here, Selena is comparing her relationship with her ex to a physical wound that has healed. Sano means healed. Sano is the past tense of the verb sanar, which means to heal or to recuperate. In Spanish, you usually use the verb curar when you mean to heal. However, the verb sanar is more typically used when the wound is more emotional or spiritual. Selena is saying that his love hurt her, but she's okay now. De una vez por toda. The whole expression, de una vez por todas, means once and for all. De una vez, by itself, can mean different things, like in one go or at once. For example, levántate de una vez. By saying de una vez por todas, Selena is saying that her heart is finally healed and it's going to stay that way. Soy más fuerte sola. Sola here means by myself. The masculine form of sola is solo, which can mean by myself or alone, as well as only, but, just, or simply. For example, yo solo quería sanarme. Selena is saying that she's stronger by herself than with him. Es que no me arrepiento del pasado. Me arrepiento comes from the verb arrepentirse, which means to regret or to repent. Arrepentirse is a reflexive verb, which means that the subject is both performing and receiving the action. The verb arrepentir by itself does not exist. It has to be accompanied by me, te, le, se, nos, or os. For example, no se arrepiente de nada. Here, Selena is saying that even though she was hurt, she doesn't regret the past. Cortó is the past tense of cortar, which means to cut. Cortar can also mean disconnect if you're talking about a call or Wi-Fi. Cortar can also mean to break up with. For example, Selena cortó con su novio. In this line, Selena is talking about her ex metaphorically cutting her wings and holding her back from her true potential. Pero ahora este pecho es este means this, something that is close to you. Not to be confused with ese, which means that, or something that is further away. Este also means east. Be careful though, este is not a form of the verb estar, to be. Don't confuse este, this, with the verb este, is. Remember, the verb has an accent. Antibalas means bulletproof. The prefix anti means against, while balas literally means bullets. In Spanish, instead of a bulletproof chest, we have a chest against bullets. Here, Selena is implying that she'll never be heard like that again. No te tengo a ti, me tengo a mí. Tengo comes from the verb tener, which can be translated as to have. Tener is one of those Spanish verbs that has several wildly different meanings. Tener can mean to need. Tengo que irme. Tener can also mean to possess or to hold. In saying no te tengo a ti, Selena is admitting that she doesn't have her ex anymore, but she has herself. Another example of tengo would be If we click on tengo on these interactive subtitles, we'll see that in this context, the tengo also means to have. Let's hear it now in a different context so the meaning sticks in your head. Y yo aprovecho lo que tengo. If you're wondering about this tool, it's Fluent You, a handy app for learning Spanish with authentic videos, including movie scenes, clips from TV shows, TED Talks, and music videos. Fluent U has thousands of videos, all of which have subtitles written by language experts. 
So you always see the correct definition of words and expressions in that specific context, plus video examples of native speakers using the vocab. Fluent you also creates personalized quizzes and speaking questions to make sure that you remember everything you learned. Try it now for free. Just sign up for a two week trial using the link in the description below. Plus Fluent you is currently having a sale, so it's the perfect time to check it out. Pa here means for. If you have seen our video, Learn Spanish with Shakira's song for Piqué, you will know that it's quite common to draw the second syllable of para when speaking colloquially. So para, meaning for, becomes pa, graphically represented with an apostrophe at the end. The abbreviation pa can also refer to papa, which means dad. The same thing applies to ma or mama. But ma doesn't have another meaning beyond mom. Selena is of course using pa as a short version of para because she wants her ex to know that the song is for her, not for him. Speaking of, tengo un regalo pa vosotros, our free PDF. It gives you easy access to all the vocabulary we have learned today so you can study it whenever. Get it by clicking on the link in the description below. Yo me fui para que no se te olvide. Me fui here means I left. Fui is the past tense of the verb ir, which means to go. So without the me, the meaning of fui changes. So if Selena said yo fui instead of yo me fui, it would mean I went. Be very careful because fui by itself is also the past tense of the verb ser, to be. For example, fui muy ingenua. I was very naive. Selena is reminding her ex that she left him, not the other way around. Que una here means that a. Que here simply means that. Una here means a instead of one because it precedes the noun muerte, death. So it's being used as an indefinite pronoun instead of a number. The whole sentence is que no se te olvide que una muerte como tú se revive. So you don't forget that a death like you is revived. Elena doesn't want her ex to forget that she's well over him. Y yo no quiero que se te olvide que una manera de aprender español es suscribirse al canal. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Like Learn Spanish with Bud Bunny and Rosalia. Seque here means dries up. Seque comes from the verb secar, which means to dry or to dry up. Seque sounds very similar to saque, which comes from the verb sacar. Sacar means to take out, so you have to be careful with your pronunciation. Selena is basically saying that she'll get back with him when pigs fly. Es cuando pensaré en regresar. Pensaré en means I'll think about. Pensaré comes from the verb pensar, which means to think. Be careful not to mistake it for pesar, which means to weigh something. In this line, Selena is saying that she's never going to think about going back to her ex. Sobreentendido lo que siento. Sobreentendido comes from the verb sobreentender, which means to imply or to understand. For example, Está sobreentendido que ya no le quiere. Selena is saying that she knows she's made her feelings quite clear. Ya no estás, qué bueno ese tiempo. Qué bueno here means how good because she's talking about how good time is at healing. However, when used by itself and without an accent, the expression que bueno means excellent or great. For example, estás más feliz ahora. Qué bueno. Estoy cura de ti, te dije. Cura here means cured. Cura is slang for curada, which comes from the verb curar. As we saw before, curar means to heal in a more literal sense. So Selena is comparing her ex to an actual disease she went through. Ya no te siento aquí, no te siento ya. Siento comes from the verb sentir, which means to feel. The verb sentir can also be used to say you're sorry. Lo siento, I'm sorry. But be careful because siento is also a verb tense of the verb sentar, which means to sit. Here, Selena is not asking for forgiveness. She's simply stating that she doesn't feel her ex anymore because she's forgotten all about him. Nunca supiste, no me supiste valorar. Supiste comes from the verb saber, which means to know. 
Saber is an irregular verb that most people have trouble with, even native speakers. The present tense of saber is se. For example, sé que Selena baila bien. However, a lot of people think that the present tense of saber is sabo. So, if you avoid this mistake, you'll be better than many native Spanish speakers. In this line, Selena is saying that her ex never knew how to value her. In this next video, Nikki Jam and Enrique Iglesias sing about unrequited love. So go find out why they didn't get the girl in El Perdón, forgiveness, while you learn more Spanish vocab and enjoy more relationship drama.